All righty, happy Friday, end of the week, September the 8th, John 3, verses 5 to 8, Jesus answered, Truly, I tell you, unless someone is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you that you must be born again. The wind blows where it pleases and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. So where am I flying? That's kind of the question we asked at the end of yesterday's video, right? Yesterday's devotional. Where am I flying? Uh, what's giving direction to my life? Uh, am I really, truly, honestly being led by, being directed by the Spirit of God. See, uh, we become more and more aware of God's direction, the Spirit working in us by relationship. I, I just want to get closer to God. I, I, I just want to know Him better. I want to get a better glimpse of Him today than I had yesterday. I want to be a part of His Word and in prayer and, and around the people of God and in worship and all those things. And, and as I dive deeper and deeper into that thing, I, I see, I know, I, I understand the Spirit's direction for my life. You see, everybody has physical birth. I was born. Matter of fact, um, this past Monday, because today's video is for the 8th, so I'm talking before and after all at the same time. Monday, Labor Day, September 4th was my birthday. I was born on September 4th, 61 years ago. Physical birth. Uh, 1970, somewhere around September, about the same time frame, I was born spiritually. So I was reborn. It was my spiritual birth at eight years old. Uh, I sat down with my pastor and he shared with me the gospel and all that. Cause my mother had shared the gospel with me and I prayed and trusted Jesus laying across my mom's bed. That was spiritual rebirth by faith. See, in spiritual rebirth, our lives are not our own. From that day in 1970, I ceased to be my own. God works in us and God works in us for His kingdom's sake. So, so people come and ask me, say, Bobby, would you pray for me to get this job? Would you pray for me to get this maybe date or something? I go, no, I won't. Here's what I will pray for you. I will pray for you that God will provide in you for you for his kingdom's sake, not yours. You see, if you're the kite and the spirit is pushing you higher, what we need to observe is what is God accomplishing in us? for his kingdom's sake. What is it that God's doing in us, through us, by us, for his kingdom's sake? See, John 3, 5 through 8 talks about our spiritual rebirth and what God is doing by his spirit to move us for his kingdom's sake. Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, unless someone is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you that you must be born again. The wind blows where it pleases, and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. As I said on the first day of this week, this is a long passage. Let's just enjoy the message of the passage. Maybe you can memorize it. Maybe not. But just... Just work to understand, to realize, to see the Spirit of God at work pushing you toward kingdom purpose. See you next time.